Hi there Pisces, this is your reading with me for this week ahead. I hope you are doing well. We're going to see what is coming through and what messages I have for you. I also just wanted to mention very quickly that if the lighting changes, it's because we have a storm and so it's a bit, you know, all over the place. Um, sometimes I'm using natural lighting, so sometimes it might be really sunny, sometimes it might be not as sunny on the camera, but it is what it is. Um, that's just probably for today. So um, I just also wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, etc, everything is listed down below and on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's private tarot readings, there's also rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, there's also healing work and also on my website there are thousands of the five star reviews on the intention items which are meditated with and saged and the review section for that is at the bottom of my website but there's items of various areas of your life like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards and pouches which you can put under your pillow, wallet or your purse or keep around you, teas, candles, sage bundles etc. So everything is listed down below and I take so much you know um, passion and joy in, in doing that as well so yes that is that and let's see Pisces what we have this week I hope you're doing okay if not I hope I can help you oh okay you know, what's really interesting is that we've got this sort of um progressive energy and it's kind of fascinating to see that because as, as soon as I saw the hermit I, I i thought of september and then as soon as i saw justice i thought of october and then as soon as strength came out i thought of august and we kind of know that it goes from leo season to virgo season to libra season and i was just thinking well that's interesting because that's got nothing to do with this week however it could be a very important time for many of you so that i think is quite fascinating the other thing i also want to mention as well is that there's just such a powerful energy here of all of the hard work that you have been doing paying off big time. And a lot of you have been thinking, when moonlight is it going to happen? Because you know, weekly readings are all nice and everything, but it doesn't always give you the greatest perspective into the future. It doesn't tell you, okay, well, if you work hard really like right now, when are you gonna see the biggest result of it? And I will tell you that for those of you that want to know the biggest result of the hard work that you put in this week and also the previous week, you know, next week, is going to happen during Leo, Virgo and Libra season, which will stem from sort of like the second half, I would say of July, all the way to the beginning of, I think it crosses into October um, for sure, especially with, you know, Libra season. So we're looking at sort of like end of July to October is, is really what I'm seeing in regards to your hard work paying off because so many of you are working day to night you're putting in so much effort so much time you're just you're trying so hard unbelievable amounts we've got here also the pisces energy through the hanged man we've got the pisces energy through the knight of cups so many of you are trying to network research you're trying so hard to either find the right person to date, the right opportunities in regards to work. You're trying to make certain situations happen. You're trying to figure out certain things with certain people and you're thinking, why is it not happening? And I think one of the most important things here to know is that what's coming your way is essentially this sense of, let me just put this to make sense here. What's coming your way is a really bright opportunity in regards to love and your career. It's just that this week you're going to be working hard towards it. Okay, so I know this can sound really boring and really like unappealing, like, oh, moonlight, I'm not going to be earning like huge chunks of money this week. And, you know, my love life isn't going to be perfect. I'm not saying it's not going to be perfect. I'm just saying that you're working towards it, right? I think if I was to say like, oh, yes, your love life is going to come together this week and everything's going to be like perfect this week, you'd be like, um, well, moonlight, no. <laughs> and I agree. It's not on the cards here so I can't lie to you and I think that's really really important for me to mention here is that we see progress but we don't see things being completely 
completed, right? So I, I really feel that that's a really important thing for me to tell you is that you're working towards this. I see so many of you taking care of yourself spiritually, having that strength and confidence to build within yourself first. You may feel this week a little bit more isolated. You may feel a little bit more in your own energy, but guess what? You're resolving really important matters here. Matters to do with your home, matters to do with your family, perhaps even healing certain relationships with your parents as well and having some very all-important conversations that need to be had before more opportunities in your career come together, before more opportunities in regards to love come together. There are some very, very important things that you are actually trying to figure out that you're trying to put into place this week so that as the next weeks and months go by, everything is nice and set and stable for the future abundance that comes into your life as time goes by. And that's really important, right? Sometimes the most important details need to be settled first before you progress with even further things. Otherwise, things can go a little bit like scrambled, okay? They can, they, you know, it just gets um, chaotic is, is another word for it. So nine of wands, there's a lot to think about here. A lot of you may also spend time, you know, ruminating and thinking about the future and thinking about the things that you want. Manifesting, for example, because I see a lot of you being in your head this, this week as well. We see that with the hanged man, you know, there's light behind the mind. We see that with the hermit. This is an overthinking sort of, you know, Virgo energy. We see it here, pondering, wondering, contemplating. But guess what? wondering, pondering, contemplating does. It allows you to discover things or to think about things that you may not have done otherwise, which can be really beneficial in terms of your path going forward. So basically what's coming up this week is a lot of thinking, a lot of wondering, but it's going to help you in terms of your future plans. It's going to help you in terms of where the next weeks and months are going. So many of you are going to be working hard this week. You're going to be putting your back into so many things, but you know what? It's really beautiful and really significant because you're resolving things that in time, once they become more resolved, you're just going to have so much more abundance kind of flow through with other areas of your life. And so we see her really lovely balance as well. I do see financial stability this week. I don't think that you're going to be completely struggling. I think that's a very important thing for me to mention as well. So let's have a look into the cards. Okay, so got the romance angel oracle cards, got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And isn't this literally what I've just been saying, this is a week where you're going to be disconnecting, focusing within. I see spiritual practice. I see a lot of, you know, self-love. I see many of you spending time by yourselves. Of course, you'll still be working and doing the things that you want to do, but I just feel that you'll want to disconnect and that the universe is saying now is the time to spend that time to do this, okay? So yeah, it's a quiet energy this week, a quiet energy. And a lot of you may not even realize that this is going to come. You know, a lot of you might be like, oh my God, it's going to be like busy week. So much is going to happen. And then you realize that it's actually quite a quiet week and not a lot is happening. And you might be like, oh, I had no idea that was going to happen. But do you know what? Um, it's it's life, you know, sometimes you have quiet weeks. Sometimes you have very busy weeks. Uh, it just kind of is the way it is, you know, like I can't really explain it this way. And actually you got honeymoon as well. Some of you will actually really enjoy this, this time by yourselves and kind of having more time for yourself and, and kind of being in your own energy. I think you will actually find a bit of relaxation through it because you might find things that you really enjoy doing. Uh, you might make discoveries for new TV shows or films, podcasts, things that you enjoy. Like, you know, maybe some of you enjoy cooking. You might find things that you enjoy in that department. Okay, we also have here passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And this is interesting because this is passion also within yourself. Now in regards to love, like yes, there can be some passion, there can be some good conversations here with someone, but that's not for everyone. I think that for a lot of you, you'll be sort of spending that time with yourself, you know, allowing your own soul to sing with joy, allowing you to enjoy the, the bliss of the sort of holiday time. I know it says together, but the thing is, right, a lot of you are spending time by yourselves and kind of enjoying it with yourself. And so we have that retreating energy, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. You're just resolving things. You're working hard this week. You're doing research. You're spending time with yourself. You're actually recharging. And that's a really powerful thing. I, I don't think that you're losing energy here, which is a very, very important thing to keep in mind. I think you're recharging big time. That's a nice energy. Okay, and let's have a look at these Lord Ganesha cards. They tend to stick together even though I shuffle them. So I'm just going to get three beginnings. There you go. Okay, this is not a bad reading. This is not a sad reading. 
It probably seems like a very quiet reading, but to tell you the truth, it is such an abundant reading because this is leading you to success. And we already picked up on the time frames and the months where you're going to see the success of the time that you're spending by yourself together, the time that you're spending kind of in your own energy, wondering what's going to come next and when is it going to happen? I gave you the time frame for that so that you're fully aware of when you're going to see the fruits of that, when you're going to see the abundance from that. This is a beginning where so many of you are going to be researching new projects, planting new seeds, taking care of yourself, putting yourself first, releasing, you know, things like codependency with healing as well. It all starts this week. And that's what I see is that you've got new beginnings here that are coming to fruition. Whew, that was a that, that was pretty beautiful. Such an abundant card as well. We've got here capacity to love. So this is also your own personal capacity to love. Um, the capacity to love comes from how much also you can love yourself. That's a very important thing. And we've got openness as well. Okay, so if this is not a closed off energy. It's not a closed off reading. It's not a depressing reading. I, I really honestly want to say that as well. You know, you've just got this sense here of feeling good, you know, being able to balance your emotions, being able to protect yourself, being able to care for yourself. You know, your heart chakra will also open as well this week as well, only if you allow it to. There's a recharging energy, not a I'm losing it all and it's all draining. That's not what I see. So this is your reading. All right, Pisces, there is a blessing in all of this. May not feel that way, but trust me, there is, okay? Because there are new beginnings that are happening this week that's actually leading you to more abundance, fulfillment for the future. You're resolving certain things and doing a lot here for your future. So this is your reading. Now, of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so as I post short readings on there every day, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.